In this Arduino tutorial for beginners, I'm going to explain two projects which we will send and receive information from Grasshopper to Arduino. The first one is to control a knob and move a point into Grasshopper, and the second one is to control a servo uh, with the Grasshopper slider. So this tutorial is for beginners, and I'm going to exactly explain everything step by step. Okay, to start from scratch, uh, for the Arduino, first we have to download the Firefly plugin. So you can install and download this. After downloading the Firefly plugin, you have to go to Arduino. So this is the website. And go to Software Downloads. Uh, basically, what we want to download is uh, the one which works with Firefly. So you can see that the latest is 1.8.8. But if you go here to Previous Releases, and say previous versions you can just download this one six point five so i have downloaded this and installed it on my computer and after installing this you have to open it so and if i just search for arduino you can see that this is the desktop app so we can simply just type in arduino and here we have it. So I'm going to explain how to use this in conjunction with Firefly. After installing the Firefly plugin and resetting your Grasshopper, you should have something like this here, uh, the Firefly plugin, which has different menus. As you can see that we have this Arduino boards, which we want to read or write based on your board uh, from this Firefly plugin. Okay, after installing the Arduino software, I'm going to show you how you can connect this to Grasshopper. So first of all, this is the Arduino kit, as you can see here. Uh, I hope you see it well. So here is the back. And you can see that this is Arduino Mega. So whatever kit you have, we want to connect this to Grasshopper and see how it works. So I'm going to show you this working space a little bit so you can see how easy it is. Okay, this is the cable which we want to connect the Arduino to our software and to our computer. So uh, as you can see here, we have a USB connection here, which we can connect it to our computer. And we also have a power supply if you want more power. For now, we can simply just connect this one to here. And then I'm going to connect this to the USB. So here we go. And here we have it. If you installed any code before working with this, uh, you can also click on this reset button and what will happen is it will just reset anything we have or uh, on our Arduino board. So let's just go to the software. I'm going to switch back to our software. So after installing the software, what we want to do is to go to, uh, let me just show you from scratch. If we go to the file and in the example section, I'm going to show you a really simple one. A basic is a blink one. This is how easy it is. And before we uh, upload this, we have to go to the tools section and go to this one, the board. So first we have to define which is the board we have connected to the Arduino. So what we have to do is to go to this tools board and I've just selected the Arduino Mega as you can see here or we can also select this one. The next thing we have to do is to go to tools and select this one, the port. We have to also accept the port. So I have just selected this COM5 Arduino Mega. Okay, before we go for our example in Grasshopper, I'm going to go to the file and go to examples, basic and blink. And you can see that this is basically a simple code which blinks uh, one of those sections in the board. So what I want to do is to upload this onto the, my board. And if you don't have any problem, this will be uploaded onto your board. And now you can see this. Let me show you. You can see that this is simply blinking. So this is how it really works. You can upload something onto the board and this will just make the code run. So what we want to do is to simply upload one of our sketches. So I'm going to go to File and Open. And I'm going to put this file for you. This is basically the Firefly Fermita.ino. So I'm going to put this one. 
and upload this to the board. So you can see that this is going to be uploaded to our board and you can see it's going to be upload. Okay, now what we want to do is to go to Grasshopper and if you go to the Firefly section, you can see that we have an Arduino and IO boards. So the first step, this is going to be really easy. I'm going to make this as simple as possible so you can catch up with this tutorial. First, what we want to do is to open the port. So let's just do that. And let me put the bifocals plugin so you can see this. So what, now what we want to do is to open the port. So this is really easy. What you want to do is to put a toggle here and put this to true so we can open it. Then we have to go to this one, the ports available, which was the five. If you remember, it was five. And then we're going to connect this one. And now if I put a panel here, you can see that it says, hooray, the serial port is open. Okay, so everything is fine now. Uh, I'm going to show you this with two examples. One is to read from it. So as you can see, we have a mega read and a mega write. So I'm going to show you with two examples. One is a read and one is a write. So this one is for a read. If I put this read here, the start reading values, we have to put this again, a toggle, put this to true. And the port number, we have to connect this one to the port number. So now you can see that we have this. Okay. And if I connect a panel again to this one, you can see that this now reading values. The most important thing about working with reading and writing is to put a timer. So I'm going to add a timer here and put this to 20 milliseconds maybe and update this. So now if I just connect this to any of these pins, you can see that it's reading. Okay, now I'm going to shift onto the camera. So now what we want to do is to learn how to work with this. Uh, in Arduino, connect this Arduino to Firefly and work with this. Okay, the most important thing, I guess that you have to look at this. Maybe you can't see it, but I'm going to explain it here. We have two things here. Uh, one is the five volts and the second is the GND. Perhaps we have two GNDs, but one is fine, means the ground, which is minus, and the five voltage, which is basically our power. So let's just do this. And uh, what we want to do is to use this board uh, or the breadboard to connect this to our Arduino. So, um, so we can extend our work. What I want to do is to use this connection. Okay, let's just go to the five volt. So I'm connecting this five volt to the board. And if you look at this board, let me just show you here. You can see that it has a plus and a minus, right? So this basically is a row of plus and a row of minus. We can just work on this, put it here, send it back. So it's really easy working here. And what I want to do is to connect this to the plus. As you can see here, I just connected this to the plus row. And the next thing is we want here is to connect the ground. So I'm going to connect the ground. to the minus row. So here, if you can see it, I'm going to connect this to the minus. So let's just go here. And this is really cool because now we have a complete row of plus and minus which we can connect. So for the first example, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect a knob to Arduino. And you can see, uh, let me sh give you a tip about using these knobs or anything in Arduino. The most important thing about these knobs is that it has three parts mainly, maybe it has more or less, but for the most important parts, we have three connections. One is plus, next one is minus, so you can see that this is a plus and a minus, and the middle one, which I have connected a black one to this, is basically the output, which this is sending to the board. So what we have to do is to give this to the plus, give this to the minus and give this to the output. So what I want to do, let me show you here. I just made a complete circuit plus and minus uh, by these two parts. And now we have to give this to the output. So I'm going to go and choose one of these analogs pin. I guess that you can see it now. And let's just go to A4 maybe. 
that's really A4. And now we are giving outputs. So let me show you here. If we go back to the computer and go to A4, that was exactly the A4. You can see when I rotate this, you can see it here, I'm increasing this from 0 to 1. That's really great. You can send your information from this to the computer. So how can I use this? Let's go to Grasshopper and draw a surface. And bring this into Grasshopper by surface. If you don't know about Evaluate Surface, I'm going to put another, let's just hide this one, a tutorial up here if you can uh, if you don't want to want to know about evaluate surface so i'm going to use the evaluate surface tool we have to reparameterize so the surface is going to be from 0 to 1 to 0 to 1 and now what i want to do is to give this a point which is a uv connection so what we can do is to give an xyz let let's name the x to u and this to UV, because we have a UV. And when I connect, I change this, you can see it's going from 0 to 1000, okay? We can do something maybe simple. I'm going to explain these in other tutorials, but for now we can just multiply this by 0 0.01. That's basically dividing this with 1000. So you can see that's going to go from 0 to 1, right? And just a little bit up from the edges. So if I give this to the U, this is really cool. Let's just check this out. I'm just moving this in the U direction, right? So the next part is how I can give another connection here. This is also really simple. And what I want to do is to add another knob to this connection. So I'm going to give this again. This is the plus and this is the minus. Remember, we can connect this to the plus connect this to the minus so again we have a connection here and then I'm going to give this output to one of the outputs analogs a7 maybe and we're good to go so again we have to just move this here again if I just copy this and give this to it was a7 I guess so we have this second one, this is going messy, but you can see I'm going to also change this one if I want. Now we can give this as an V connection. Now you can see here that I can move this in the U direction and use this one for the V direction. So basically this was a simple tutorial of how you can multiply things with just a plus and minus really easy and you can use this technique to connect this the next part is going to be to uh, for this one was a read and now they're going to write for that so for this example I want to show you how you can use this micro servo and rotate this with grasshopper so if you can see this it has three cables one is a brown which is minus the black or the brown the red is plus and the yellow is basically the output so again similar to that I'm going to put that brown or black into minus, this one to plus, and give this output to one of those. Okay, I'm going to go to digital number maybe nine. Okay, so this is really easy plus, minus, and output to number nine. And now we want to rotate this. So again, we have to go to a mega right. Put this a toggle to true. We have to give this a port number. So what we want to do is to connect a port number to this and give this a timer to 20 milliseconds. And now because we've connected this to port number nine, we're going to go here and say right click servo. So now if I just connect a zero to maybe 60 degrees, you can see that I can rotate this, right? So you can see how easy it is with this example, how you can control an input and output with Arduino. 
Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below uh, what do you think about this tutorial, and see you next time.